All right, good morning, guys. So, I am washing clothes. Well, I'm washing my sheets in my room for my, you know, my linen. I'll show you guys the stuff I use. Uh, for my sheets, I use this. I'm in here my powder. And I already put these in, but I use this scent, the Lavender Escape, for my sheets. And then for my clothes, I use, I can't say it very well. I use the Purifying Water. So when I tell y'all, mm, this stuff is smelling good. And then I put snuggles in. You smell your sheets when you go to sleep, you have mm, like the snuggle commercial. I use snuggles too. Yeah. I had to delete some storage because I need to get another SD card. I have another one, but I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, I'm doing laundry. Yeah, look at all this laundry I gotta do. It's crazy. Ridiculous. This is what my life is going to be all day. And then Sean and I switched cleaning responsibilities. I'm going to clean the bathroom and he's going to do the kitchen. So, you know what? Bless you, Elijah. You okay? You still sleepy? What's wrong? We will. I gotta get me one. Okay. Not right now. This candle smells so good. This candle, you can't really see because it's kind of iridescent. I got this yesterday. It smells so good. It's like citrus. It's um citrus in it um i think it's like grapefruit citrus and what else gardenia i think my nails this weekend because a lot of them is chipping you probably can't tell but like on this more so my right hand because i'm right-handed but there we go yeah, a lot of my nails chipped. So, I'm gonna put one of my other favorite colors on. Lincoln Park. I'm gonna put that on by OPI. I'm gonna just, sometimes like if I don't, I, I fill in my own, do my own nails. And today, I might do it tonight.
Hey guys. So, I said I always want to be authentic. So, I just found out some bad, well, it's not really bad, but some, I guess, devastating news. It's not devastating. It's just sad. Um, my, one of my grandmothers passed away. It's on my dad's side. Um, I lost both of my grandmothers this year. Yeah, I really don't speak about, like, death on my channel. Because a lot of people, you know, but this is my real life. In real time. Um, I lost two people in my family on my mother's side. Um, not due to COVID, but natural causes, you know. Um, and then I lost my grandmother on my father's side. And today is December 26th. Um, 19 years ago, I also lost my grandfather on this day. Of course, I don't have any tissues, but... Um, I spoke to, um, Sharon. Sharon is like, um, my grandmother's like adopted daughter. She always says that. I have to get some tissues. When you said the mom's gone. I know. I'll be okay. Thank you. I know 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 you. And she's going to always be with us. Okay? You finished getting dressed? And I love you. So, yeah. I lost both of them. So both of them are together. Um, I felt that she was going. Um, unfortunately, my grandmother lives up north. Most of my family and friends live up north. But um, I just felt it. And the reason why I felt it because the conversation that I had with Sharon the night before and knowing what today is um the anniversary of my pop pop's death I kind of knew and I was actually in the shower and I said in my heart I was I was thinking about all the things I was going down my memory lane and I said grandma left she wanted to be with pop pop he called her god called her and um this is real life y'all i just found out like 15 minutes ago and the only way i can cope with things is just to talk about it <laughs> yeah i myself for this but you have to release the emotions um and my grandma and i were very close um, we share the same birthday. She used to call me her Capricorn twin all the time. Where she was like, oh, you're so cutie. I mean, my grandma was funny. She was hilarious. Um, she, you know, she was just a breath of fresh air sometimes. Like, she just was really thoughtful. And, you know, as time, the last time I seen her... Um, I think it was two years ago, <laughs> and I, I let her meet my bestie, and 
she was like, she was like, oh, you guys. And like, we just laughed and chuckled. And, you know, she said, so she knew we were out partying. <laughs> and she said, it's okay, you know, you're young. And she told us a little story about when she was young and things she did. Um, and, you know, I can just tell so many stories. And, like, the funniest story is, like, when I was younger, I had, like, anxiety, separation anxiety. You know, I didn't want to always, my mom, you know, my mom worked a lot. And my mom needed my grandparents to watch me. Um, I think it was for a weekend or a week or something like that. And, um, I think I might have been like four, four, maybe five. I don't, I was really young and my grandparents came and got me and I screamed and kicked and I was like so upset and I stayed in that room for like a day. I did not come out. I eventually I came out to eat and then I went back in the room and then after like that day was over and I got in my mind like, all right, I'm going to be here for a, a little bit make the best of it um my grandma said i knew you would come around she's like i just left you alone you little capricorn because i'm stubborn <laughs> and most of capricorns are stubborn and you know i used to always help her like in the kitchen since i was little you know clean up you know do things um go outside with her sit outside when I was little, um, I was looking at a picture with both of them. I was, I probably was like three. And my grandma and grandpa were holding, my pop pop were holding me at the shed. I think I was talking to my best friend this morning about it. Um, cause I actually was going to call my mother, um, later cause I was going to talk to my mom about it because my mom could be there on my behalf, but I didn't get a chance, you know. And I don't feel regret for not calling my mom right away because when people go, it's nothing, you know, it's out of your control. You can't, you know, beat yourself up. Oh, but this is like the second time I felt death from someone. Like, I felt when my father was, he died, and then I felt my grandmother. I know my grandmom doesn't want me to feel like sad and sorry, you know, it's just, you know, it's just the process of death when you receive it, you know, you go through emotions. Um, I told myself I would prepare myself for it, um, and not take it as I'm taking it hard because she was so like great, like my grandma was just a great woman. And she told me all the stories, like, you know, she always told me, don't give up on your education, Ashley. She said, because you can do it. And she still told me to this day, because she knows that I want that I want to be a nurse. And I'm working hard to get there. I'm not giving up. Yeah. She was a special lady to me, you guys. And I'm so happy that she was able to meet Elijah. And it's a funny story. Her first time meeting Elijah. When we came up there a few years ago. Um, he took all his clothes off. He went to the bathroom with himself. And... Of course, I didn't have any change of clothes because I'm like, I didn't think he would do that because he was fully potty trained and old enough to know I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and we, he peed like, oh my God. But he, he left his territory like, okay, grandma, you meet me. This is me. And, you know, I have a lot of good memories. There's no, like, bad I knew her favorite color was peach. She loved peach roses. Oh, um, yeah. 
and I was glad that she got to meet my husband and Maya. She met Maya. Well, she did. It's not meeting them. I was happy that she was able to meet my husband because I talked so highly about him to her, and she's like, "Oh, I can't wait!" And when she see them, all the lady, old ladies love Sean. What's not to love about him? He's a great guy. Um, but she fell in love with him. She's like, "Oh, you're such a cutie." Yeah. I'm I'm going to be okay, you guys. Lose someone you love. And that means that holds a close place to your heart. Um, you take it hard. But, you know, you eventually get through it. And, as they say, they want you to move on with your life in peace as well. Like, they don't want you to burden yourself with this because people are supposed to die. And she didn't die in a hospital she passed in her bed just like my grandfather so I'm okay you know um, and I think that's why I was so much at peace with my grandfather because I was physically there but I felt like my spirit was there with her because when Sharon told me she received our Christmas card, she kept it in our bed. So that helped. I knew I was okay because I knew she knew and I knew. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. Will you guys actually see this video? It won't be till next year. But just know that I'm okay, and I, I appreciate all the support that everyone has given me. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.